Happy Friday, everybody. What's up, you guys? How are you doing? Welcome to whatever this is. I am um, probably going to keep it a little short today. Some stuff has come up and I got to run. But um, yeah, thought I'd show up and say hi. Let you know that the... Um, the chill slash sleepy track slash study track is gonna be out today. Um, finally, right? Big cheer for that. Nice. I think, um, I mean, it took a really long time. Um, it was like, we were gonna do it on regular streaming services and try and get the income from that to go to the um, scholarship, my scholarship at Art Center, and that wasn't gonna work. And then we got an offer from Calm um, to do it in their app as an exclusive, and it, and it is a great fit. So here's the story. Uh, about that track. So I, for those that, you know, are new, um, I made a track, somebody requested like a sleepy track, a go to sleep kind of track. Um, and I spent, I basically did one, just like stream of consciousness track one day where I just did very chill sounds for the entire session. And um, so I made it live on Twitch. You guys, somebody can put, send you the link if you want to see the making of it. Um, I don't remember what day it was. Um, but the, uh, yeah, so the, the thing ended up being, I don't remember how long it ended up being the final version. <laughs> Let's say it's an hour. I don't, I don't remember exactly how long. But um, here's the information. So it's going to be called Cognition. That's going to be the name of the track or the name of the experience. So Cognition is going to be available exclusively in the Calm app, C-A-L-M. Um, and there's a, there's a, if you're a subscriber to that app, um, you, you need to be a subscriber to, to, to listen to it, but they have a free seven day trial. Um, you might say, oh man, I really don't want to subscribe to the app, but they've given you guys a 40% discount as members of my community here on Twitch um, for the annual subscription. So that's great. Um, so it's almost half off. Just go to use the um, link calm.com slash Mike Shinoda. So C-A-L-M dot com slash Mike Shinoda. Um, and if you're not ready for that, just you just check out the um, check out the you know the track. Check out Cognition um, for the next seven days for free, and then you can see if you actually you know want to use it. Um, but I like the app. It's a good app for for meditation, for going to sleep to. They've got all kinds of other um, like experiences, and that's one of the reasons why we chose that one. Uh, well, I should say why I chose that one is because they've got other stuff from other um, musicians, from other like celebrities, notable people, whatever. They've got stuff for training your mind, for meditation, for they've got like nature sounds. They've got, you know, more um, sound designy kind of um, relaxation experiences. So, you know, if you've never checked it out, go check it out. Uh, who else is in there? Diplo is in there with a very chill thing, not a dancing thing. <laughs> LeBron James has like a, like a, a, uh, what's his called? Train your mind. But there's all, he also has like a meditation one. So yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of, there's a bunch of folks on there who have made like these very cool, uh, chill experiences. Um, Wow, it got really dark for a second on on 
the screen. When I did this, is it when I do this, you get start? Yeah, because it's like backlit. Right. Anyway, Calm app, that's a deal. Seven days for free, 40% uh, off using calm.com slash Mike Shinoda. Um, there'll be a, a link in the, a reoccurring link in the chat. Um, oh, also, we've got, we made a couple of um, merch items. If you like the art, I did special, did I show you the art for it? Did I show you for it? I don't know if I did. The sketch? No. Oh, okay, hang on. Today's an art day, so I'll show you the art for this. Hold on. I gotta find it first. Where is it? I actually don't know where I put it, so... I have to, like, find it. This is so funny. Okay. No, it's not there. Not there. Oh my god. Not there. Dude, this is so funny. Oh, there we go. Found it. So, okay. So this is the art for the um, Calm app. Uh, for cognition, for the calm experience, I should say. Um, I can move that out of the way there. So that's the art I did um, for it. I actually started off being just this, and then I wanted to make it even more relaxing and chill. And I've lightened it up a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the vibe. That's your info. Um, that image will be on the cover of the experience, but also on some, a couple of items of merch in the store soon. Um, hope you guys enjoy. And today's gonna be an art day, speaking of which, gonna do some drawing. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna take I kind of feel like doing one drawing today, like one doing one drawing for a while. Um, let me look in my my uh, redemptions to see if there's anything cool that I could do over the course of the next like I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. Um, we got a dinosaur from SpongeBrook 182. Dom Shinoda wants Shih Tzu dogs. Uh, Slow Pango wants a racing wombat, like a drive, racing driver wombat. Sarah320 wants Roxas and Axel of Kingdom Hearts. Mix of LP album art from Many Scissors, Animorphs Evolution from Magical Sitar, Velociraptor. God, there's so many, but I don't know if this is the one thing that I want to draw today. Hogwarts is a request. Character from Alice in Wonderland is one of the. I could do an Alice in Wonderland. That might be interesting. Should I do that? That feels like a fun, a fun thing to spend a minute on. Rosanna three five eight wanted, requested that one. So let's look up Alice. Look up Alice. All right. Lots of interesting Alice's have been done over the years. Um, did I see that, that like, this one, this vibe down here? I don't think I, I don't know if I saw that. 
This is just nonsense. Look at this. Ugh. Let's see here. Whoa, what the hell is that? That's crazy. That's crazy looking. Jeez. Maybe I did see the Johnny Depp Mad Hatter one. Yeah, not not so much into the um, into the like sexy Alice BS. Yes. It's unnecessary. I love that the like. I think I've I've told you guys this before, but like in art school, you could be like basically going walking around the um, around like the cafeteria area and no matter like there'd always be some like d some dude sitting there with his sketchbook out drawing like borderline pornography i don't know what it is about like illustrators and like cartoonists anime guys it was at least in my school it was always guys who just sitting there just drawing like, way sexed up um, fantasy drawings and just sitting there going, draw, walking by like yeah, that's like I don't know why that's part of the, like an acceptable part of the culture it's so fucking weird that shit at home and don't post it on your deviant art page Um, all right, I'm trying to find a good, a good ref this Alice. Is there like, maybe there's a good reference. What's a related, what's a related image? Like the Alice thing, what's the, what's the, um, the main main theme. I always felt like Alice in Wonderland was just about like a like an acid trip. Like she was just going. She just went down, you know, the rabbit hole into like a trip. And was there another? Was there another theme? Like another like metaphor or whatever going mad it's just mushrooms but it seems like the queen part the part about the queen is like there's something some metaphor there White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, no. It's a metaphor for communism. <laughs> I don't think so. Satire of the royal family, okay. Should we Google it? All right, fine. Alrighty, we'll do that. The moral of Alice in Wonderland. Let's look. Alice in Wonderland.net. Your home for all things Alice in Wonderland. Was originally not uh, oh, blue, the field of morals, general ideas to educate, not entertain. One, one originally not intended to be a book. It's told real Alice to shoot the boat from her sisters, and not commanded, written down afterwards. To... 
Well, the story was expanded for publication. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The author never changed his intentions. Became actually became actually the first children's book without a moral. The Looking Glass, through Looking Glass, comparable to Alice in Wonderland comes the lack of moral. Everything's got a moral if only you can find it. Um, themes and motifs, maybe. The theme of growing up, like Peter Pan. Egos, bad habits. Wow, we don't like. I start to not trust um, stuff I read when I see a lot of errors in. I don't know, punctuation and things like that. It's just, yeah, the bad grammar, the punctuation errors makes me go like, mirror written by a, like a, a high school kid? Not sure. I want something written by someone with like a master's in English who wouldn't make this, make this uh, mistake. Someone smarter than me. What are we gonna do? Go on Wikipedia? Like asking glut. This is taken from. This is literally the same wording as the last thing we read. So let's not. Whatever. Uh, open mindedness. Characteristic of children. It's okay. The garden may simply represent this experience of desire and that Alice focused her energy and emotion trying to attain it. Two symbolic meanings work together to underscore Alice's desire to hold on to her feelings of childlike innocence. She must relinquish as she matures. What is Alice learned from the Cheshire Cat? Cheshire Cat is famous for its ability to appear and disappear at will. Everyone is crazy, even you, Alice. Okay. That's interesting. Growing up, everyone, growing up and everyone is crazy. What is, I'm just trying to think of a, like a more, like a, another image that sums up the, Growing up and everyone is crazy theme. Pinocchio is a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that. Pinocchio. Lord of the Flies. We could do a Lord of the Flies. Alice in Wonderland. That's interesting. That's a good Lord of the Flies image. This one being the cover of the book, top left. Strangely, I've done both a an Alice painting before and a Lord of the Flies painting before. Are you aware of this? I think my Lord of the Flies one was more, um, for, was it for Joe's um, mall art show? Let's see. Like it was for Mall at Gallery 1988, no? No, those aren't the ones. I can see the picture, the painting in my in my head. I know what it looks like, but fortunately, there aren't any good. Uh, Joe curated the show. That's why I'm looking it up this way. 
that was me and Joe for that. What was the one? I thought I did it for that though, where I did a the pig head thing. Anyway, all right. Regardless, let's jump into this. Maybe I don't have to think so so hard. Um, let's figure it out here. Cat. And Alice and the Cheshire Cat. Should she be? a couple of shots where her hands are like like kind of like this this her dress always poops out like this what was that thing going on with the dress is it like a it's like an apron Of, what is that dress from? It's actually a really weird shape. I feel like the cat's tail can be like, kind of like this. I feel like it's a little bit um, like um, shit. What am I thinking of? Oh, there's a oh the cat bus. What is the the cat bus um, character? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like literally wrote it in um, in all caps the way I thought it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, a little bit of this guy, Alice versus Totoro, right? Um. Yes. So that this tail would be a lot bigger, I think, but. All right, so back to our this situation. Um. Shouldn't he be a lot bigger? Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of his tail because he should be like a lot bigger. He could be huge. Like, he could be like 
one eye here and one eye here. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could be in the middle of this. And his eyes could be like this. Big. That, that's actually like more fun to make him that big. Right? And then she's just kind of like... Here. gestural version of this. that little flippy thing.
I could just do like a like a symmetrical thing. Is that better? To do symmetrical? We'll do both. I'm gonna do the cat both ways, and then and see which one's better. So that's one, and then we'll do a symmetrical one. So drawing assist, edit guide, symmetry, options, assisted, vertical, boom. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Oh, done. Uh, done. Okay. So I'm gonna do a symmetrical approach real quick. Nice to the not symmetrical one. Here's what I'll do. Merge the two. I'm gonna take this one and just edit it. So these are about the same. I did a good job on the he has like he kind of has one tooth on the bottom in the middle I don't know what that's about but okay that's the case I 
want to get the right, like, face. I wonder if her pose is like the right pose here. Oh, I've, this is a good face. Hold on. This is the face. Yeah, I like that pose. Like looking up, like she's like wandering around, but she doesn't see the cat. That's a good, that's a good face. Okay, so we're gonna change up her her look a little bit here. So it's a little bit more. on the right is too big. Maybe I'll just make the other one bigger. Oh, that's the issue is they're not, it's got to be almost round. Got to be white, the white of her eye underneath. <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the shadow knows. There we go. Ooh, that nose is way too far over. Hold on, I'll just do the nose and then we'll, then we'll move it. face, yeah? Alice. 
she have like a little, she has like a little hair, like this. A little band in her hair. Ladies and gentlemen, stay at the top and meet the competition of the underworld's keenest mind. The shadow has to be still better than any of them. Smart, what's going on? You're sitting right here. Where could he have gone? What are you talking about? I just had a somewhat peculiar experience, Margo, that there was a little man sitting here not ten minutes ago. He showed me his watch. Mm -hmm. I remember it rang the quarter of the hour. It's one of those old-fashioned ones that chime. So? Now he's disappeared. Well, before we go any further with the fairy story, did you find out what time it is? The conductor says it's not one o'clock yet, but by the stranger's watch, it would now be just about five o'clock. What's that? It's him that's his watch chiming. Well, where is he? Under the seat? No, he isn't. His watch is. Look, this is it. Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother, I croak, said the one, so they croaked and were glad in the sand, in the sun. Here we go! Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother, I croak, said the one, so they croaked and were glad in the sand, in the sun. That wasn't such a good one. Yes, I'm afraid the doctor's right, Lamont. In the army, orders are orders. Orders are orders. Hey, well, just as you say, sir. All right. So the shirt kind of does this, apparently. Is it an apron? I don't understand what is going on with her shirt. Oh, it's so weird. Alright, well. Got a basic shape for Alice. She looks good. Feeling good about that. Maybe a little extra, like of this kind of shape there.
Ja. I think that's kind of the, the, the uh, composition here. All right. Anything to make it a little more dynamic? V. It's a weird line. Smile kind of ends where the where the apron ends. Kind of helps with that shape of that line. Actually, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like this line here goes like this. Um, same with the top of the teeth. Cool. Um. Does she have any other like details? Like no like locket or like there's a bow on the back. I guess that's it, huh? Okay. Should we do a little like dynamic shading? Like figure out what I'm talking about right there. That's that's the vibe. Lots of little teeth on that one. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is great. Though. That's the vibe for the cat. Um, okay. That's the vibe. So Mostly black background. I think this thing that needs to go on there is like. Hold. 
I mean, I really want the background to be a lot more black than that, but... Tempted to like do like just sit here and go like this through the whole background. Gonna be a lot more work, but it'll look cooler that way. All right, I might have to. Uh, it's gonna work. I might have to come back to this on um, Tuesday. Let's do Alice's face. Yeah, we'll do a second arm game. yourself. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. Where is the rebel base? Where, where, where is the rebel base? Where is the rebel base? Where, where, where is the rebel base? Oh shit, Joaquim Gomez is raiding with the party 33. 
What's up, man? What's up, friends? Today I'm doing Alice in Wonderland with a humongous Cheshire cat behind her. Um, and I'm actually wrapping up, like right now. Gonna be wrapping it up in a moment for the day. I'm gonna come back to this on Tuesday, I think. Shadows. Give her a little shape here. Definitely a shadow right here. Maybe a little one right here. She's being lit from overhead, so I guess that means here and here. Some lines in the hair. I think this is where we're at for right now. Here's the cat in the background. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come back to this. Uh, I'll come back to this next Tuesday. Ugh. Um, thanks very much for watching and for helping me out with your, with your, um, emotional support. 
Uh, let's do some shouts real quick. It is Friday, my friends. So what do we have here? We have Chulo Flaco, sub with Prime. Snort. We have M Stein 333 resubbed. 201437 Leon Khan. Resub. Char 1112 resub. Nick's kit resub prime. Snort. Team Shinoda resub. Nighthawk Nina gifted. Johnny Vision resubbed. Sabrina Mars 2019 sub, resub. Peter Parker resub. AK Rain 907 resub with Prime. Snort. Very smart. Nighthawk Nina gifted. Banger 1497 sub Prime. Snort. Nighthawk Nina gifted. Froggy French resub. Michelle 444 resub. Bruno resub with Prime for 11 months. Snort. Ado. Resub the prime. Sure. Maz did the 9999. Resubbed. Cell Valis. Resub Nighthawk Nina gifted Kiwi and, and I. Resub the prime. Sure. Lottie Dotty one. Resub the prime. Sure. Elena Hybrid gifted. Uh, Shock 0640. Resub the prime. Sure. Hashar. Resubs. M Stein gifted. Thank you guys very much. Poggers. Nice, nice, nice. That's a very special room bet. And our um, t weekly top gifters are Ali H, Yasmina F93, Silver Fox 207, Elena Habichinota, William Ryan Key, Nanapoi uh, 2, Seashells LPU, Sizzlock 1, Seal Mouse Photo, and Nighthawk Nina are our top gifters for the week. And our top cheerers are Karma Doll, oh, it's me, Monica L. Alvarez, Janodes, LP Kazaku, Dusty 2013, Fractured Eclipse, Mona LP, DRVM Singularity, Drum Singularity? Drum Singularity? Michaela Horkova, Sam Yash, also gifted just now. Thank you guys very much. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, and I am gonna see ya next Tuesday. Um, I'm going to send you to a crazy channel if you haven't seen it. She's not usually streaming when I'm streaming, but you are going to go to see Code Miko. Please enjoy this situation. And if she notices you show up, tell her I said hi. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys Tuesday. Thanks very much. You are now vibing with my Shinoda. That's a very special moment. What the hell is going on?